the warm affection I received from the Apostles, especially Peter, filled my heart with joy. Greater than all others, he was inflamed with love for me. I asked him therefore whether or not he loved me above all other Apostles. He declared his enormous love for me. I presented him this question three times in order to test the reliability of his answer. After each answer, I commanded him to feed my sheep. As a result, I named him the head of my church. I requested this evolval of love in order to make clear that I would demand ever greater love from him, as I had determined him to be the head of all others. Thus he could fulfill his duties in glorification and honor to the Heavenly Father and strive for the healing of the souls committed to him. Peter, enlightened from our Father, recognized the sublimity of his office. He humbled himself as he thought himself to be unworthy. He accepted the office only to fulfill God's will. All other apostles were filled with joy, thereby fulfilling the commandment of brotherly love which I had placed upon them. They were filled with joy over the advancement of their brother and companion, thus showing themselves willing to be subservient. In accordance with the promise I had made my apostles, I will be present in the form of bread and wine in the sacrament of the altar until the end of time. To my great joy, as well as the joy of my Heavenly Father, I reside in this sacrament and thus assuage my love for all mankind. My love for my Father remains unbroken in the sacrament on the altar. I bring him this love as compensation for the love and homage of him by mankind. I also offer him a virtue and perfection in place of their faults. And so his desire that all people should be perfect shall be stilled. It is with great joy that I look upon the souls who love me and lay their homage before the tabernacle. When they open their hearts to me and reveal their secrets, I shower them with gifts of grace. I linger in the sacrament of the altar in order to hear all pleas and grant them mercies, thus healing their souls. I strike down the infernal enemies who seduce mankind into immoral ways of life. In the sacrament of the altar, I am food and drink for all souls. I nourish them with heavenly joy and cause them to feel disgust for all worldly pleasures. I teach lovingly all those souls that receive me in a dignified manner. I am healer and medicine strength and comfort. I am the light, the way, the truth and the life. I am advisor, leader and shepherd, brother and loyal friend and the giver of all graces. In fact, I effect in this sacrament the everlasting blessing of all mankind. I do all this with the greatest joy and in love to all people for whom I died on the cross and to whom I have given this nourishment as sacrament. <laughs>